So in today's video, we're going to be discussing the recent reports and rumors that have came out about Spencer Dinwiddie joining the New York Knicks and that the New York Knicks are really high on Spencer Dinwiddie this offseason. And this is just a report, so this is not a sure thing. But with that being said, if you guys haven't already, make sure to quickly subscribe to the channel and like this video and also hit that notification bell button not to miss out on more awesome NBA videos like these. And now let's get into the video. So the report was by Legion Hoops Ross on Twitter and he says that Spencer Dinwiddie will be pursued by a handful of teams this summer, which is definitely correct and including the highly interested New York Knicks per source. So this is very interesting news given that Spencer Dinwiddie was having a breakout season in the 2019 season before he suffered his ACL tear and his main injury in the beginning of this season. And to be exact, he averaged 21 points per game, 4 rebounds and 7 assists per game. And that was all for the Brooklyn Nets in the 2019-20 season. And Dinwiddie is still 28 years old, which fits the timeline of the New York Knicks. And the way he's been coming back from his injury was very good with his workouts and all of that preparation. But the question is, what would the cost be to be able to land a player like Spencer Dinwiddie? And this is a very interesting question since Dinwiddie has been having a great season in the 2019 season. But that was when he was getting a ton of minutes on the Brooklyn Nets, but in the 2020 season he's definitely been a little bit slacking in the beginning of the season but the price for Dinwiddie would be at least 13 to 15 million dollars per year and it definitely would have been more if he hadn't gotten injured because we all know how clutch Spencer Dinwiddie is but luckily the New York Knicks have all of the cap space to sign him and they would still even have about 60 million dollars left and that is of course only if they do not re-sign other players and if they can actually land Dinwiddie to a 13 to 15 million dollar contract and if Dinwiddie can stay healthy during the next few seasons this could definitely be a very good win for the New York Knicks by taking a very underrated player in Spencer Dinwiddie and he's also a very solid playmaker as well as defender and in a few games he could even be a triple double threat and as a point guard, he would definitely improve the spacing on the court for the New York Knicks. And Dinwiddie would be a cheaper option than a player like Lonzo Ball since Ball is actually looking to get about 20 plus million dollars per year. And the Knicks would still be able to sign guys like DeMar DeRozan to their team with Dinwiddie. So a starting five of Spencer, Dinwiddie, RJ Barrett, DeMar DeRozan, Julius Randle, and Mitchell Robinson does not seem far-fetched. And the Knicks could decide to bring back Derrick Rose and run a point guard situation with Dinwiddie and Rose, which would be very solid and respectable as a team. And Spencer Dinwiddie would definitely fit the New York Knicks style of play with Tom Thibodeau's defensive presence and his hard work and grit type of mentality. And Spencer Dinwiddie would definitely be a culture type of guy for the New York Knicks. And they are reportedly highly interested in Dinwiddie, so this has a very good chance of actually happening, which would actually keep Spencer Dinwiddie in New York. So with that being said, let me know in the comments down below which player do you think the New York Knicks should sign end of 2021 NBA offseason. And if it is Spencer Dinwiddie, let me know what contract is reasonable for him. And with that all being said, let me know what trade you guys also think the Knicks should make this offseason. And if you guys haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video. And also hit that notification bell button not to miss out on more awesome NBA content like this. And now with that all being said, it's been KYT here and I'm out. Peace.